what is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Louisiana Outdoorsman. We are back at it and in the boat. I am with me, myself, and I this morning. Um, yesterday afternoon slash night, I actually went and set out my limb lines um, out here in the lake. And uh, needless to say, it was an eventful afternoon. It took longer than I thought. And if any wildlife and fishery agents are watching this video by any chance of a stretch of the imagination, please do away with these tags that we have to put now on our limb lines, jug lines, and everything. It's so much of an inconvenience. But with that being said, putting them out, I uh, the first tree I grabbed onto yesterday actually got lit up by a couple wasps, one on my arm and one right here on my cheek. Um, but you know, it only hurts for a little bit and uh, Hopefully there's some there's some success in all of this um, from getting stung yesterday. But I'm uh, I'm about to get out of the no wake zone here in the little canal, and we're about two minutes away from my first line, so it shouldn't take long. So hopefully we got some pretty good fish, and uh, we'll see what happens. So stay tuned. All right, coming up on the first limb line. It looks pretty good. Definitely looks like we got a little something something on the tree action. Gotta watch out for the oh, gotta watch out for some wasps because uh I ain't about that wasp life anymore. I'm trying to see if that's a nest. No, it's a broken branch. Okay, we're good. I'm so sketched out now on wasp. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Look at a fishing. Oh, it's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one, boys. Oh, nah. Whoa, oh, nah. Whoa, oh, nah. I know you've been on there all night. How you got energy? Wipe off the little limbs because your boy is getting kind of dirty. Let's see. Let's see. Ow, ow. Nice little. If I can get them. Come here, Come here, Anna. Can't grip them. Nice little two or three pound blue cat. That's a good way to start the morning, especially after getting stung by wasp yesterday. But he'll be the. First to go in the ice chest. That is the first fish in the chest, literally of the year. And I am pumped. Got the old trusty beef stew meat in action with a little bit of garlic. Let's put him a nice little chunk for the next for the next hoss that wants some. If this continues and I don't catch many in my other spot, I may move, start moving some lines in here. But that's neither here nor there right now. So we'll move on to the next one, see what we got. Well, we haven't had much luck this afternoon. This is the, the first afternoon I'm running my lines, which I didn't think I was gonna do too well in, this, in the afternoon because the water is so hot. But uh, looks like we might have something on this little line right here. And we're checking shallow water. But let's see what we got. Mine's definitely moving. Let's see if we can get him in here real quick. Oh, look at him. I see him on top of the water. Nice little catfish. Nice little cat of fisher. I can get him on hook. Definitely, you could tell he tried to twist off, but uh, nonetheless, nice little pound and a half. Little cat, I'm gonna let this go before that hook sticks me. Put him in the ice chest. As you guys can tell, we haven't done too great. Still the one from this morning, but all in all, I didn't expect to catch one this afternoon. So that's a pleasant surprise to run them and have a little catfish in the afternoon. As you guys can tell, look at this, it's insane. 
Look at the water temp. The water temp is 90.13 degrees. That's insane water temp right now. I only set my lines right here because I know at nighttime, these catfish will come up in the shallows to feed. So that's the only reason I put my lines here, but I do have lines in deeper water. So hopefully those do better overnight, but I'm gonna get this rebated, finish running my lines. I don't have too many more and I'm gonna head on home. All right, guys, it is the second morning out here. I'm running my limb lines out here in the lake and something has got to give within the last day and a half i got two catfish total it's literally the one of the worst times i've ever had running my limb lines um in regards to actually catching catfish um but i got hopes up i set out more lines uh yesterday and hopefully them sitting overnight being that catfish feed at night they're producing um a little bit more like i said something's got to give i can't go home with two catfish today so we're gonna do everything we can to make it happen and make sure we have more than two definitely in this ice chest before I leave this morning. But uh, I'm about to strap this GoPro to my chest and then pull up to my first line in about two minutes. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Well guys, I just, I just pulled up to this limb line and it was literally just hanging straight down. I did not expect something to be on. I started pulling on it and I got some pull back. So we're definitely gonna see what's on here now. I'm surprised he didn't start moving when the motor came through. Feels like a decent one. He's a decent little catfish. He's probably been on there pretty much all night. So I'd imagine he's pretty wound down on energy. But nonetheless, nonetheless, Nice little, nice little two pound little, little cat of fish uh, that we can put in the ice chest. That's a sight for sore eyes, I take that much. Because it has been rough the past couple of days. And I mean rough. But hey, I ain't complaining, I'll take them where I can get them. Because uh, other than that, it wasn't looking so hot for the home team, if y'all know what I mean. Could it be? Well, I think it could be. I think it could be, fellas. Let me get my little handy dandy. That's a nice little catfish. Come here, ball. Come here, ball. You've been on that hook for a minute. Yeah, he's been on that hook for a little. We oh, swallowed it too. Hang on. See if I can get my handy dandy, handy dandy flipper and get them off. There we go. Jesus. Your boy wanted every last bit of that bait. I'm gonna get that in a little bit. All right. And like I said, you can tell he's been on that line for a hot minute because either something tried to, you know, drop him, something tried to eat him, or he's been rubbing up on the uh, on the branches trying to get off, or that line wrapped around him, one of the two. But either way, he lasted long enough on the line to put him in the chesticles, and we can go ahead and rebate this and move on to the next one. Sometimes you just got to get him in the boat however you can and uh I need to get this boy in the boat Man, they are all swallowing these hooks Let me chill out, bro Just trying to get you off Get you off the line so I can put you in the ice chest my guy All right, he ain't much But he honest work if you know what I mean nice little one pound 
catfish to add to the collection. Like I said, all these fish ain't much, but it's a sight for, for sore eyes, I tell you that much. Because it, it's been a rough one. In fact, after picking up these lines, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna actually pick them up for good after this. Because uh it just ain't worth it at this point to to run all these lines by myself for I don't know two or three catfish here and there. It's just not it's not worth it. All right, so what I'm gonna start doing when I get up to these lines, I'm just gonna go ahead and start cutting them and dismantling them and taking them down because I'm almost at the end of them and I haven't really done much, so. But, it is what it is. Oh, they actually have a fish on here. Oh, they actually have a little, a little cat of fish on there. I had no clue he was even on there. I was literally just turning this camera on to let you guys know that I was just gonna start cutting my lines because I have I don't know, maybe two or three more lines down that way, but a nice little surprise. He ain't much, but a nice little surprise for what we've been having, which is either bait still on the hooks or bait going off the hooks. So we'll put him in there and make a little sandwich, a little catfish a sandwich. That's uh, one, two, three, four, five cat, no, six catfish so far. Like I said it ain't much, but you know, I'll take it for whatever it's worth. <laughs> so I was going to, I literally just rebaited these lines in this main canal, not even, I don't know, 20 minutes ago. And so after I was in my little other area, I made the decision to come back and, you know, pick up all my lines and stuff like that. Cause the few catfish I was catching isn't worth all the, like I said, all the work by myself and stuff like that so but i actually put my gopro away put it in the box and i was coming down to to untie and cut all these lines and lo and behold you know they got one on this little line right here so we'll check it but we're still definitely gonna cut it um it doesn't look all too big but oh, this feels nice definitely a keeper cat oh just came off look at this just came off as i was pulling them in the boat wow crazy so I get this meat off that's why I like to use this beef stew meat that literally doesn't come off there we go you almost have to pull it off but uh let that sit right there for a little bit pick up this little little catfish nice little pound pound and a half like I said he'll make a sandwich so and any catfish at this point is like I said, a sight for sore eyes. They got a couple of them in there that's... Okay, I just want to splash everywhere. A couple of them in there that's decent size. But, uh... Like I said, for... Two days worth of work for seven catfish, it just... It's just not worth it. Not worth it. Especially when the water... The water at 8 o'clock in the morning is 85 degrees, which is absolutely insane. But, uh... Like I said, I'm gonna finish running these lines, which I only got maybe two or three left. And uh, I'll catch you guys back up when I either get back to the house or get back in the truck. Looky, looky what we have here. If it ain't another catfish on the way out. Let's see what we got. Oh, a good one. That's a solid catfish. That's a solid cat. Man, I needed this to finish this trip off. And like I said, it's not gonna, it's not gonna make it. Me want to continue to set these lines out and stuff like that. But I said, it's a good, it's a good way to finish. Good way to finish the trip on a strong note. Nice little, nice little two, two and a half pound cat look how long he is your boy is long and skinny now, i'm assuming these catfish are skinny right now because it's summertime and they have to go a little bit further to find their food because this water is so hot i mean just 
steaming hot water. But nonetheless, catfish. All right, guys, that is gonna be a wrap on the video. As you can tell, I am in different clothes. It is another day. However, I am sitting in my truck because it is so hot outside that you can literally do nothing out there without being absolutely drenched in sweat. So to film this outro, I actually hopped in my truck, turned on the air condition and uh, cooled down a little bit because all I did was walked outside for a few minutes and I'm absolutely sweating profusely and it's, it's miserable. Um, we have had a huge heat wave come here in Louisiana over the past week and probably going to continue for another week So it's just something that we're gonna have to deal with but uh Hopefully I can either do some night activities um, Like maybe frogging or maybe run my jug lines at night or something because this daytime heat is absolute an absolute killer so um, I know I've been gone for a hot minute um, YouTube's kind of been on the back burner for me right now um, but I'm still trying my best to get out there and uh, make some videos for you guys here and there But stick with me because I will be back. I guarantee you I'll be back So make sure you come back for another episode of Louisiana Outdoorsman